Hi guys, welcome to Luxa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to create an AWS CloudWatch metric alarm via Terraform. So guys, let's begin the session. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is AWS CloudWatch metric alarm and their use cases. So basically, uh, metric alarm watches is a single CloudWatch metric or the result of match expressions based on CloudWatch metrics. The alarm perform one or more action based on the value of the metrics or expressions relative to a threshold or threshold over a number of time periods. So if we want to configure CloudWatch metric alarm via Terraform, then we have to configure a resource name AWS CloudWatch metric alarm in the Terraform configuration file. So the point is what I'm going to demonstrate in this view in this video. So here firstly I will configure EC2 instance on AWS platform, then I will configure AWS CloudWatch metric alarm on the basis of CPU threshold value for this instance and we will also take some action if alarm triggered. So let's begin the lab session. So let me clear the screen for you. Let me show you my Red Hat release version. See currently I'm using RHEL 9.0 and uh, let me create a new folder for this Terraform project. So I start with MKDIR project one. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to open my Visual Studio Code software for configuring and deploying Terraform configuration file. So the command is VS code here. Okay, let me make it large for you. Okay, close that one and see, you can see that currently I'm in my project folder. Okay, so start with the first step, which is create a provider file. You can see that currently uh, there is no file configure, no configuration file available on this location. It's totally blank. So before start the working on the data form, let's create the provide provider file first for the AWS Cloud Provider. So uh, in my case, I'm going to launch EC2 instance in North California region. So I create a file and put up the entries. Name could be anything, but the extension should be always .tf, that is Terraform format. So I create a file, uh, P-R-O-V-I-D-E-R, provider.tf, okay? Now uh, let's put up the entry. So I go with the provider, provider. In my case, that is AWS and uh, reason uh, this time my reason is us hyphen west hyphen one yeah and i can use control s for save and quit for this configuration file now uh, i can run the terraform init command so let me open the terminal from here new terminal and go with the terraform init command that is initialize so uh, this command will initialize the working directory containing terraform configuration file and install any required plugins when you run the terraform init any plugin required such as aws cloud provider are automatically downloaded and saved locally into dot terraform directory so you can see that initialize provider plugins finding latest version of hashicorp slash aws and the version 4.34 Zero. and look at that terraform has been successfully initialized now you can see that under my project one directory here uh, here i have one more hidden directory called dot terraform directory where required plugins are stored okay so we have done this task successfully let me close this terminal and now move to the next step which is make a ec2 instance resource file so again i have to create a new file under same project directory so let me open another new file uh, name could be anything i am going with ec2 extension should be always .tf file so for the time saving purpose i have downloaded all code for terraform official website and modified as per my need otherwise video will be very long so let me copy the code from my file and i will explain each and every line for you okay so here is my code file and let me copy the entire code for instance resources so let me copy and paste and control us for save Okay, so let's start with the resource field first. This is the first one, that is resource field. So resource is AWS underscore instance, which will be always the same in the case if you are using or launching EC2 instance. Then I put up the identical name. It could be anything uh, as per your choice. Here I'm using a Linux for my EC2 resources. Then I use AMI ID. So AMI ID is something AMI 0182B9 something like that for the AMI ID you can log in into AWS web console page and grab it from there your desired AMI ID from your available reason 
So well, I'm going to demonstrate this lab on North California region. So I grabbed this AMI ID from North California region. Let me show you my AWS console. Okay, so um, here is my AWS region. Okay, currently I'm in North California, you can see that. And let me refresh the EC2 dashboard first. Okay, so guys, you can see that uh, currently I'm in my North California region and uh, there is no uh, available or stopped or running EC2 instance okay so I'm back on my EC2 dashboard let me refresh see it's zero instance running is zero okay so uh, now move to the my terraform file again uh, in the next step I have to tell about the EC2 instance type so I go with the T2 micro because currently I am uh, I'm, I'm my under free my tire account and then I can define my few more entries like key type and the tag so key name is uh, new underscore nc uh, please be sure this key should be available on your aws region okay and this is already available in my account let me show you one more time look at that in key pair i have a key name new underscore nc so be sure about that this should could be available on your uh, availability zone or, or your or your region where you are going to configure that one i'm back on my terraform file one more time and uh, I, then I defined a tag. Tag is just for the identification purpose. So I'm using demo underscore server. It could be anything. So that's sufficient entry for the EC2 instance. Now I just save that entry by using control S and uh, move to the next step, which is configure another TF file for the CloudWatch metric alert. So again, I have to create a new file under the same project directory. So right click one more time, go to the new file and uh, give the nice name c l o u d cloud watch underscore a l a r m dot t f okay so i'm giving this name cloud watch underscore alarm dot t f file could be anything so let me copy the code and then i'll explain one more time for you so the this code is here okay let me copy and right click and paste it here use control s for save okay so here i start with the new resource entry which is aws underscore cloud watch underscore matrix underscore alarm this uh, entire code is available on terraform official website you can check it from there then i use the identical name which is my alarm okay it could be anything as per your choice but it should be unique in your configuration file then in the next line i mention alarm uh, name look at that alarm underscore name okay so uh, Then the next line I mentioned alarm name which is demo hyphen alarm it is required field so I just give the name it's demo hyphen alarm could be anything then in the next line I use compression operator look at that it's a less than or equal to the threshold value so it is also required field uh, basically it's a alarm uh, automatically operation to use uh, uh, when comparing the specified static and threshold it could be greater than or equal to threshold or greater than uh, threshold or less than threshold or less than or equal to threshold here I'm going with the less than or equal to threshold value then in the next line I configure evolution periods look at that evolution period is equal to 2 so which is the which is again a required field this is the number of period over which data is compared uh, to the specified threshold so here I configure evolution period for 2 interval then in the next line I mention metric name metric underscore name so the uh, and which is the which is the name of the alarms associate metric so for this I go with the CPU utilization and then I configure the namespace namespace is, is AWS slash EC2 which is again a required field it is the namespace for the alarm associate matrix here I am using AWS underscore EC2 so there are many namespace and matrix names are available uh, you can see the doc for the supported matrix from the AWS official website and Terraform official website also then in the next line I define period look at that period is equal to so uh, which is in the second field uh, it you can put up the entry in seconds uh, over which the specify static is applied so here I go with the 120 second okay then in the next line and then uh, I mention static uh, which would be the static to apply in the alarms associate matrix we have many supported statics are available like sample count average sum minimum and maximum here I go with the average static 
okay then in the next line i mentioned threshold which is the value against which we uh, with the uh, with the specified static is compared so this parameter is required for the alarm based on the static threshold here i uh, here here it is cpu utilization on 10% so i just put up the value 10% uh, which is uh, calculating the cpu threshold value and then in the next line i define alarm description it, this is the this is the description for the alarm so it could be uh, anything choice up to you but should be uh, well format and then um, in the next line i mentioned insufficient data action insufficient data action means which is that uh, which is the list of action to execute when this alarm uh, transition into the insufficient data state from any other state so each action is uh, specified as an amazon resource name which is known as arl so currently i leave it blank because i didn't want to configure any action on the insufficient data state okay so that is the reason i i didn't put up any entry here then in the next line i mentioned dimensions so uh, which is the dimensions for the alarms associate matrix the list of the available dimensions are available in aws documentation so here i define my ec2 instance id for this matrix and finally i use alarm underscore action this is the list of action look at that this is the list of the action uh, uh, to execute when this alarm transition is into an alarm state from any other state so in short i configure aws uh, I, I configure uh, aws cloudwatch alarm metric that looks for every cpu load less than 10 percent uh, into a two evolution period that at least uh, 120 second for each period and if uh, if uh, alarm triggered i want some action performed on that ec2 instance which is it should be stopped so look at that it should be stopped uh, here i am mentioning the action it could be uh, terminated it could be reboot choice up to you uh, and it goes into the alarm state so guys uh, this is all about entries and uh, we have uh, we have put up our entries successfully now time to check so let's open the terminal and start with the syntax check first so why running terraform validate command so let me open the terminal and make it large for you okay terraform validate okay let's see let me make it large for you okay success sounds good so uh, looks all good no error found so do not forget to review the execution plan first before deploying on aws cloud provider so for this i'm going to i'm going with terraform plan command so say terraform plan Okay, plum is going to be executed. Oops, good. Two is going to be added. So it says if you go with this plan, it will add two new resources. After you review the execution plan, do not forget to apply your changes. So what will the my what will the plan is going to be executed? The first one is if I scroll up a little bit, uh, it should be okay. Here's my C Linux instance. That is my one. EC2 resources and another one is my alarm. Okay, so now I'm going to run the Terraform apply command. So Terraform awply apply. Okay, enter the value. Say yes. Okay. Yep, started. So now you can see resources are going to be created and it will take some time. Okay, so we need a little bit patience. Still creating. Okay. Just wait for a couple of minutes. Okay, instance is created and now, yep. All apply complete. Even I can cross verify with data from state list S T A T E state list. Okay, see my resources, whatever the resources I had deployed for my Terraform file, it's showing here. That is my AWS CloudWatch metric alarm and my EC2 instances. So now I'm going back on my AWS graphical console. Let me refresh the screen this time. See, instance isn't running. Okay, and let me check the CloudWatch status from my cloudwatch survey so you can just search cloud cloudwatch right click from here right click and open a new tab see my instance is going to be in running condition it is in initialized state and if i open my uh, 
alarm if I go back on my alarm status okay see insufficient data and my alarm name is demo alarm whatever I have mentioned and remember that it's two endpoints within four minutes okay so uh, you can see that uh, I am I am on my alarms to alarms uh, alarm uh, dashboard that is CloudWatch alarm and currently it is in insufficient data and if I move to my uh, instance dashboard it's in running and status check is two by two okay so it's uh, we have to we have to wait for a few minutes and let the alarm trigger and uh, this instance should be automatically stopped because we have set the condition on 10% CPU load okay so just wait I am going to refresh the screen at a regular interval interval and let's see what happened okay so I'm going to refresh it okay see CPU utilization two data points within four minutes so I have to wait for two three minutes So I'm going to pause this screen for a couple of minutes, let them alarm trigger, then I will continue, okay? Hey guys, uh, you can see that uh, if my alarm is in currently in alarm state, I'm going to refresh that one. See, it's in alarm and, uh, and if I go back on my seat instance, currently it is in running condition. Now if I refresh it, should be in stop or going to be stop condition see it's in stop so you can just check that it's currently perfectly working and this is how we can uh, uh, use aws cloudwatch alarm or configure aws cloudwatch alarm using terraform okay so if you want to want to destroy your old resources then go back on the terraform console and you can uh, where i am um, here i am on my console and you can simply run the terraform destroy so it will destroy your all remote objects managed by a particular terraform configuration so are you sure to continue i said yes okay so guys finally this is uh, all about uh, this uh, demonstration and uh, we are end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please reach out through my social media links and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update Thanks for watching, stay safe and goodbye.